True or false, erectile dysfunction is only a condition that impacts guys 50 and over. What do you have to say, Doc? Absolutely false. Erectile dysfunction affects guys as, the, as young as 20. Wow. Uh, the one thing to note is, you know, uh, if you are experiencing erectile dysfunction at a young age, first of all, it's very normal. I see guys, five to 10 guys, almost every single day who are experiencing erectile dysfunction under the age of 35. Wow. But the key is, you want to see somebody because you rather than taking Cialis and Viagra long term, taking these medications, identify what the problem is. Once you identify the problem, you can create a good long term solution so you don't have to be dependent on medications for the erectile dysfunction. Got it. And what are some of the underlying factors that can contribute to a guy in his 20s or 30s dealing with an issue like erectile dysfunction? Most of the time for young guys, it's, it's in the head, right? It's the psycho, we call it psychogenic erectile dysfunction where it's more stress and anxiety associated with it, where everything hormonally, blood flow, health-wise, all these things are fine, everything is working fine. But the one thing, when, you, when you're stressed and you have anxiety associated with your erections, that could create a lot of problems. And that's usually, usually the main issue for, for young guys under the age of 35. Fellas, if you are on the younger side and you're dealing with erectile dysfunction, you're not alone, but it is critical to seek out the advice of a urologist who can help you work through potential solutions.